Hello, everyone. It has been a while, so it's kind of fun to be back. I did the little catch up Facebook Live here the other day just after getting back. And um, so now we are going to actually continue with the wardrobe series. We took that little hiatus during the workshop that I did, and now we are going to continue with pants and particularly pant links. So first of all, I thought what I would do is share the winners from the this and that. So if you are new here in the group, what I do every so often is when Stella and Dodd has new releases, what I will do is do a this or that, let you comment on it, and it's just a fun way to enter something without no purchase and you win prizes. So I do that every so often. And I haven't done it in a while. So it was kind of fun to get back and do that. So the winners, I picked four winners because you all were so great about making comments. I mean, there were dozens of comments. And so what I do is I give assign every comment a number and then I draw or do number generator. So we've got our winners are Shannon, Jenner, Amanda, and Susan DeMerchant. And so I will be writing you directly and giving you some things, some jewelry pieces to choose from and then sending it your way. So congratulations to all of our winners. And then I also have, I went back because I realized I had forgotten to draw a winner for this when I uh, was really promoting the, the new little Starstruck collection. Some of you made comments on that. And so Patty Rayfield is our winner for that. There was just a few in, in that category. So very fun. And then I have some new jewelry pieces to show you. So I'm wearing the ombre baguette. It's maybe a little bit hard to see. I've got my good lighting. I'm hoping it's here. And then the, the gold, um, this is the Figaro necklace and it comes in the silver with kind of the smoky stone too. And so I've got both of those. And then these are the drop earrings, the crystal drop, and they also come in the smoke color. They're a little bit bigger than maybe they looked in the photo. So that is, um, those are a few of the things. And if you're here watching, make sure to make a comment. So I know that you're here. I'm so happy you're watching. Okay, these are the Shannons. You know, oftentimes they are named after a Stella and Dot consultant. So these are so pretty. And again, you can take the, the top piece and wear that just separately, but they have kind of that smoky color and they're not as big as I thought they would be when I first saw them. We had another piece that was very similar um, a while back. And so I really, really liked those. Hi, Chris, how are you? Thanks for watching. These are the Baguette Huggies. And so again, a little hard to see in this Format. Sometimes when I do the Facebook Lives on my phone, it's almost easier to see the jewelry close up. It's hard to show jewelry close up. But anyway, those are some of the pieces I'll be showing you a lot more photos as time goes on. And we will be, um, I'll be showing you other ambassadors who have posted images and how to wear it. And then these are the bracelets. So I'm so excited about the bracelets. So here is that same ombre baguette. And you can see all the different colors. And I happen to have navy and teal on, but oh, it's got all different shades of purple and mauve, and you could wear these with anything. And then these are the crystal stretch bracelets. So those are, are really fun to layer and put things together. Okay. So I know that many of you are having maybe what we would call pant confusion. So we're going to just talk about the categories of pants and just the different styles. So when I did the workshop, I kind of broke it down a little bit into the typical styles of pants that we wear, most of us wear on a regular basis. So I'm going to kind of table two of those categories when we talk more about athleisure and activewear in a couple of weeks. But the first one is the leggy. 
And leggings still have a place in many of our wardrobes, but with a little bit of discretion. Always going to be there for active wear and for casual, for athleisure, for those type of things. But when you are wearing leggings to maybe dress up and go out, then it's really a little bit different. So we're seeing a lot of the faux leather leggings, and I know. That is not necessarily the style for all of you, but we're definitely still seeing leggings, but they're worn with, obviously with something longer. This is one I've had for years. I mean, this is like, it's got a faux leather on the sides and then it has the ponty knit in the middle. And it's just one that I have, I've always, I mean, I think I've had them, like I said, four or five years and I just keep going to those, but definitely with something longer. With styles getting on tops, getting shorter, you may say, well, how do we do the legging thing? And so you might not be wearing them quite as much or with, like I said, longer blazers, jackets, or sweaters, but um, you still see it. You definitely still see it. But what I don't see is leggings. Uh, and when they first came out like 10, 12 years ago, I mean, not that they weren't out before that, but back in the 90s. but. Um, you know, I definitely don't see, and I always tell women this, I mean, the leggings, the it's very few and few and far between women who can pull off that slim legging look with a shorter top. I mean, it just is every so often you'll see someone be able to do it, but it is, um, I don't think it's really a good look on most women. So just, you know, clearing that up about the leggings. The next category is the jogger, which many of us have embraced the, the last couple of years. And I am going to cover that and some different ways to style that. When we do the interview with Zaya Active, I have Lucy Graham coming on. And she's an ambassador for Zaya. And they have so many great joggers and leggings and a really awesome line. But what I want to emphasize, too, is that if some of you don't like the jogger with the elastic around the leg, there are like still the jogger fabric, that real comfortable, easy to wear fabric that has more of a straight, slim cut leg that you can wear with you just a little bit maybe more possibilities with shoes and, and boots. And so I want to really explain that later. Then the next category of pants that we have is the typical dress pant that many of us have to wear to work. I did a poll a few nights ago and I went, I should have gone back and looked, but not many people had answered, you know, what they could wear to work if it was no denim, um, you know, business casual only, or if you could do some athleisure. And I got a few answers on that, but I was kind of after whether a lot of you still have to have dress pants in your wardrobe. And it definitely, there definitely are people who do, who can only do denim on Fridays and whatnot. And so the typical dress pant, you could kind of divide it into really two different areas, two different categories that that suiting, what I would call suiting pants. And I thought maybe I still had one pair, but I do not think I do. I think that I finally parted with them. But that's that really nice wool pants. Think of even like men's suiting. That's why I refer to it as women's with the women's. It's suiting. It's that more uh, corporate wear that not too many people have to wear, but it still is out there. And it's usually wool or a wool blend. Very lightweight fabrics. And they're typically um, not always, but a skinny or a flare leg um, or a little bit more of a, um, not a huge wide flare, but you know what I'm talking about. The other category of dress pants is the ponty knit. And ponty knit came into our world and about, I'm guessing, 2009, 10 or whatever. I mean, it's been around for a long time. And really what this is, is taking, I still have some of these pants left. And this is what I used to wear to work all the time, especially when I did have a dress coat. This was all I could, could wear. So I would wear this and dresses. And this is where, you know, the black pants that many of us have in multiple pairs. So the ponty knit is just that really stretchy 
fabric that is super comfortable. It gives, it travels well, it doesn't wrinkle, and it's rayon, polyester, and spandex. And that is, it's different than a legging. It's not shiny. It's really meant for, that's why we call them the wear to work pants. It's that, that typical thing that you need. And anyway, I would say that's probably makes up most of those, you know, what we refer to as dress pants, either the wool, the wool blend. Sometimes you'll see kind of another wool poly blend, but the Ponty Knit is definitely so common and really so comfortable it's the it's the fabric that you know you can gain 10 pounds and still wear the same pair of pants and that's the beauty of it so now we're going to talk a little bit more about denim because i covered denim when it taught when we came it was in the spring when we talked about you know what to do with when we were seeing a little bit of a, a rotation in and style where we were seeing a little bit more straight a little bit more boot cut and so that is what i thought we would cover but i also wanted to really cover the length because length is so important so what i'm going to do and how i'm going to break it down for you is just to talk about skinny straight and boot cut even though there's boyfriend girlfriend, all of some of those other ones in between, but we're really going to keep it to those three styles and how to hem them and how to wear them. When I talked about shoes and boots, I gave you a little bit of a kind of a, a, a just an overview of really how to wear some of these new styles with the boots. And so you'll see photos again of that because I'm going to screen share here in, a, here in a minute and I have put some photos together for you. So let me go ahead and screen share. And let's get the other tab up here for you and we'll go to present so that you will be able to see it larger. Okay, here we go. So I thought for doing this, it would be advantageous to kind of take you through a little evolution of what has happened with our denim the last 10 to 11 years, I'm guessing. That's when we really saw a rise in skinny jeans. Some of you embraced them, some of you didn't. And that's okay. And now they've been around for a while. And now that we're seeing maybe a slight decline in how many skinny jeans that are out there, some of you are like, well, now I kind of like them and whatever. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second. So first of all, I would say when skinnies first came out, I found this picture and I thought, is that just perfect or what? Because we didn't really know what to do. We didn't know how to tuck them. They didn't work tucked. And then when we tried to put them over our boot, like is shown on the right, that was a struggle. So if you remember that, put that in the comments because we were all there. It was, it was just like, okay, now what do I do with this new style? Because we were transitioning from a lot of boot cut in about um, 2011, 2010, 2011, we were still wearing boot cut. And then to transition to the skinny or in some case of the straight. So that's truly what it was like. Then we kind of figured it out. So we figured out that you could roll. And this one on the far left is uh, a skinny jean just rolled up twice. Then in the middle just rolled up once and then not at all. And so what we learned is that the bottom of the hem of the jean had to not, you know, not quite touch, but it had to meet the top of the boot and, you know, showing a little skin in between was all good. I can remember on the far left when I first um, started doing this and rolling jeans and I, I remember seeing that and I remember thinking how weird it was not to wear socks and actually it was so much better for my feet not to wear the socks and um, my toes could spread out because I had a lot of nerve damage in my in my one foot so it was so much better for me so that was a really good thing but I know that some of you have kind of gone through the whole thing of okay my feet get cold my legs get cold 
we're going to talk about that because now with the straight and the boot cut, it won't be quite as prevalent. So with skinny jeans, let's just kind of get it out there again. We will see less of them, but yes, the stores are still full. So if you think of how trends go, or if you think of kind of like a, um, a graph, you can kind of think, you know, it, it completely in 2011, it completely accelerated and it just kept going up or everybody was wearing skinny. So just like with boot cut, it just kind of did a downward, downward, you know, curve, it went down. And does it mean that boot cut wasn't still in and you didn't see it in stores, you just didn't see as many, because uh, skinny dominated. Okay. So the next photo is more skinny again. And the reason I think that they probably have stayed in as long as they have is because they were so versatile with the shoes. You could wear it with a loafer. You could wear it with a heel, a pump, a sneaker. It was just so, so easy. And you didn't have to worry quite as much about the hemming or hemming like with boot cuts. Sometimes we would have different jeans for different shoes. And that was a little bit more cumbersome to do when we had the boot cut. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead one slide and come back to this. So another thing that we did is we scrunched and you can see where on the left, those were kind of scrunched and you don't see that so much anymore, but it definitely was a look when skinny first came out, you know? And so if you did that, that was, that was completely in. I did that for a while too. But as time went on, it became a much better look, a little bit more flattering to not have that bunchiness and to show more ankle. So when it comes to hemming for the skinny length, you typically want to hem them or wear them right at the ankle bone or a little bit above that clean, slim line at the ankle. And you don't want the bunchiness like is shown right here. So this is like should have a big X through it, the, the example on the left. And if you get it too short, then it can visually cut you off, especially if you have shorter legs. So the photo on the right is actually a pretty good length. She's got pretty long legs. And so that, that works well. Okay, so going back to some pictures that I found of myself, I did have to laugh a little bit. Now on the far left is, I was an older one, and I was trying to transition white denim into fall. But technically, I think those are too long. There should have been more, um, a little bit more skin showing. And then you can see the same pair of jeans in the next photo with a mule is just way more flattering. And then with a pump, this is different pair of jeans in the fourth picture with a boot and then a little bit um, shorter again, just with a, a slide or a flat. So yeah, really getting more towards um, above the ankle is the better length for a skinny jean. So for those of you that still love wearing skinny jeans and have a closet full of them, it doesn't mean that you have to completely get rid of them. And I really want to emphasize that because they are, you know, maybe declining a little bit. That is the time for you to maybe think about adding a pair of straight cut, adding a pair of boot cut, but it doesn't mean that you completely throw everything away and start over. I mean, fashion is cyclical. You're always going to have these trends and embrace what works for you. If you still look great in skinny jeans and you want to keep wearing them and you have many different styles, by all means, keep doing it. And I will give you some ideas of how to transition and maybe how to wear them a little bit differently as we go along. But I'm still going to wear mine. Part of it is um, also different parts of the country. You know, we're not out and about as much as we normally have been in the last 18 months. So I observe a lot of women. And when I was in Dallas, I still saw a lot of skinny jeans. Um, I see a lot here when I am out and about. But 
different parts of the country, California, East Coast, may have, you know, different trends. They may do have a little bit more straight, have a little bit more boot cut, and that's completely fine. So do what works with you for you. Um, and, and then again, sometimes just trying it with a couple different shoes or whatever will give you a, an idea. I mean, one way to kind of transition them back to that picture of the sneaker is that is such a great on trend way to wear your skinny jeans. And so maybe embrace that. The Chelsea boot, which I don't have a picture of in this presentation, would be another one. But that's something you could look up on Pinterest. And Pinterest is full, full of ideas. All right. The next one we're going to talk about is the straight cut. So there you see a full length and a cropped version. So typically, the straight cut was hemmed just below the ankle bone. So remember that just below the ankle bone. And we're going to talk about some variations of that. But again, you typically don't want to break in the pant on top of the foot. I think a lot of people are hemming their or keeping their straight cuts too long, especially now. But you don't want any bunchiness. Again, when you have bunchiness, it looks sloppy. It looks messy. It does not complete the look that you want. So that is my advice about a straight cut. We're going to come back to how to wear them a little bit more easily with a shorter boot. Now, there's a lot of variance in between straight cuts. Remember, I taught you how to really look in the descriptions on um, the websites or to take your tape measure and measure leg openings because there are going to be Again, big, big variety. Typically, the definition of a straight cut is it's the same length from the hip all the way down, or the same width, I should say. And with a skinny, it tapers in. Just, you know, again, pretty, pretty obvious stuff. Okay. So the next one we are going to talk about is showing you some different straight cuts and different leg openings and how to wear them with a boot. So you're gonna see a lot of different things here. So let's talk about if you feel like your ankles get cold and you wanna wear, you know, what we're talking about is more of the, the cropped straight. So this is a shorter straight. So again, typical straight cut, we're gonna hem just below the ankle bone. But sometimes you are going to have a pair of jeans that might say on the label, crop straight, ankle straight, ankle skinny even, and those are going to be a little bit shorter. That's going to be above the ankle. You can still wear these and really get mileage out of them like before. You might have thought, oh, that's like a summer jean. But now you can pair these with a boot and be completely fine. So look in that first picture. The reason I like that one so much is because even though the pants are shorter, and you know, definitely that would be a crop straight, she's wearing them with a boot that's the same color, so there's continuity and that just works and looks good. The picture on the far right, she's got so probably almost the same boot. It's more of a, a sock, what we call the sock booty. And so that shaft of the boot is much taller and it's very fitted around the ankle. So the straight cut just falls right over it and you don't have to worry about it meeting so much. That's one way you can wear the boots if they have a taller shaft, but one that does a boot that doesn't have a real large um, opening at the top. Because again, you don't, I'm going to show you, I think I have this coming up here. I'm going to come back to this. Yeah, this is really good to see. So look at how that straight cut doesn't, you know, you can't really, it's not falling over the boot where she's got it pointed out where those wrong things, it's catching on the top of the boot. And that's not what you want. So a way that she remedied it there is on the right, she did roll them. So it was more like how we wore skinny, where the bottom of the hem touches the top of the boot or it meets it, or there's a little skin showing in between. Okay, I should have that one on first. Now we're gonna go back to this one. So 
Here on the bottom, on the far left, you're seeing, again, a straight cut, but it's like I just showed you. They're definitely shorter, and they're meeting the top of the boot. The one shown with the little um, sandal there in the heel, I just bought those, and it's called the AG. AG is the brand. It's called the Mari. And what I like about this one, when I put them on, because I have really struggled to find a straight cut, they fit me from the hip to the knee like a skinny wood. They were more fitted and therefore more flattering, but then they were a wider leg opening, but not super wide. Again, really, look, I think these were about a 13-inch leg opening, so that was important. So I really, really like those. And when I write the blog post, I will include all of these photos and links and all of that so that you have all of this in writing. Then the middle photo you see there again, they're falling over the boot. So it's not like they're bunching up. They fit perfectly over the boot. The next photo, they touch the top of the boot. So they're hemmed or cut. And again, the beauty about those raw hems is you can just cut them to exactly what you want. I have done that lately. I have cut some of my jeans because I feel like I was wearing some of them a little bit too long. And then the last picture is a straight cut with a sneaker. Again, you cannot go wrong with the sneaker. That's why we all have some, or I do. I really have, um, I've gotten a lot more sneakers lately in the last couple of years. Okay. So then the, again, now for just so you have this, this straight, if you're going to, to hem these or roll these, the cropped straight or that shorter straight will be slightly above the ankle. Okay, so you can do straight, the traditional straight would be just below the ankle, and now with the cropped version, slightly above. Do what you want, figure it out what works good for you. If you've got boots that just, the jean just falls right over it, and cover, don't, don't worry about having it neat or having, you know, it be cropped if you don't like that look. Okay, so next one is boot cut. These are universally flattering for everybody. They balance, especially when women carry more weight in the hip and thighs. It is, boot cut is just so extremely fat, flattering. And they elongate your legs. So someone like myself who has short legs, I've always looked better in boot, in boot cut. Now, I embrace skinny because, again, I'm always um, wanting to stay current. I want to, you know do that's it's what I do but the boot cut is honestly probably a better style on me now the one thing that we saw first is in the middle picture when we were wearing them 10 years ago the rule was a fourth to a half inch or probably a half inch to an inch I'm not going to say a fourth a half inch to an inch from the floor so sometimes they even touched the ground or just barely touched the ground we didn't want it too long because then it would wear the edges would wear that is how we wore boot cut back then. Now, that's still okay. I got my pair of boot cut out. I had saved a pair, and it was actually a pair I bought in about 2017 because, again, they really didn't go out completely. They were still in the store. So I bought this pair for this particular, I was, um, particular event I was, I was going to, and I wanted a pair of boot cut. I got those out the other day and realized that I, I just thought these are so long. These are so long. It just doesn't seem right. So I'm actually going to have them rehemmed because what we're seeing now is boot cut hemmed just a little bit shorter. So look at that photo on the far left and you're seeing so much of the heel there. And then both pictures on the far right, you're seeing a lot more of the the heel you're seeing, um, and part of that probably some of the style of the boot, but you're seeing more of the boot and those big chunky heels, which you know are kind of in right now. You, um, they just it just falls. It looks very <laughs> neat and polished, but it's not as long as they were. Again, kind of when you have them too long too, you can get that break in the front, and it doesn't always look as as good in the front. So what you want to remember about boot cut is they, again, they go with an ankle boot. They can go with a taller boot. They can go with a heel. You can put them with a wedge in the summer. You can put them with an open toe. 
I would say if you're going to put them with flats, it always looks better if you have a little bit more of a pointed toe with a flat, but generally boot cut look better with a heel. So there you go on that. So I am going to go back to this and see if there's any comments. Oh, I forgot to, I can't see you when I go into screen share, Chris. I cannot see and I forgot to remove the banner. So anyway, I apologize for that. That was not good. I was so into doing that when I had the workshop of removing the banner and I forgot. So anyway, and I can't see your comments when I'm in screen share. So um, this will be, what I will do is I will put this now into a blog post and um, you'll be able to see the photos, see the writing, and see the links and all of that. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you are, you know, again, don't stress about this. Do what you like, do what, what works. Um, just so I, Chris, here's what we could do is I'm gonna get rid of the banner and I'm gonna go through that really quick again so that you can see the photos. And um, so that it doesn't look at there. Whoops, we don't want that high. Okay, so I'm going to quick go back to the share, and then you can see that, and that will be a good visual for you. There we go. Go back to the beginning. There you go. So that's how we started back in the day. That makes me laugh to see those. We transitioned to this, so we got way better at skinny. Skinny was so versatile, we could wear it with everything, but it wasn't maybe the most flattering on every body type, but we made it work with other things that we put on top of it. Here are some of the pictures of myself in skinny, and I feel like maybe I wasn't always wearing them the right length. Again, the good length for a skinny is right at the ankle bone or right above the ankle bone. Don't bunch them up like that. That's kind of an, an old thing we don't see too much anymore. If all else fails and you don't know what to wear them with, put them with a sneaker. Then we went to straight cut, the full length and the cropped. The full length straight cut just below the ankle. Sometimes you'll even see them a little bit longer, but typically just below and then the cropped would be slightly above the ankle when you have a straight cut that does that. Here is the different things you're gonna be, different lengths you're gonna be seeing with straight cut. You will see the, the boots that are a little bit tighter around the ankle and then the jean just falls right over it. Again, you will see ones that definitely hit at the top of the boot. You will see them with a heel, um, lots of different, variations there but the big thing is with a straight don't have them so long or put them with a boot that they catch on the boot or they are bunchy i personally don't love rolling anymore but you see it all the time and i'm you know if that's your thing and it's so much easier to do definitely cuff them do a slight neat not a big bulky cuff um that's just personal preference though on my end and then the boot cut hem your boot cut jeans a little bit shorter than what we normally were doing them years ago I wouldn't do the half inch to the inch from the floor anymore I would do them a little bit shorter okay so hopefully that will help and you will see the the pictures a little bit better thank you everyone for watching if you have any questions and I didn't know if it was okay to roll my jeans yeah Totally, you can roll them, Chris. It's completely fine if you like that look. And again, you're just kind of worried about like, okay, do I really want to cut them? Do I want to hem them? It gives you a little bit more versatility to roll them or do a cuff. Just keep it, you know, really neat and not a bulky cuff or roll. That's what doesn't look so great. Okay, if you have any questions, 
please let me know. And this is a good time really for those of you that are new who are watching. If you are like, okay, I just really would love someone to tell me what to do when, when I have this outfit on and I don't know what boot to wear with it. I don't know what shoe to wear with it. This is where the membership piece comes in. So for the workshop, I really promoted my styling services and that is ongoing. It doesn't always didn't connect to the workshop. I always have that three month program. So that's one option to work with me. The other one is the membership, which you pay $29 a month or 300 for the whole year. And you have access to me it's like having a stylist on call you can send me pictures you can send me video of how to wear things and there's also a special member area with all kinds of things like this and way more of of what you can do when when fashion changes when you're looking at how how do I do this? When when am I supposed to wear this? All of that. So let me know if you have more questions about that. I always offer that free 15-minute consult. It's a great way to get to know a little bit more about how I could help you and make it, personalize it for you. Okay. Have a great rest of the night, everyone. And again, let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you again next week for wardrobe series number seven, which will be outerwear.